Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You know I like my Tron hauls to have some spice. Today we are lining me up with Pretty Little Thing. This time I ordered $1,000 worth of clothes. My money, so you know the video is not sponsored, which means the review is correct. First I read out the item out loud so you can see it on the model, how it looked online, cause you know how the models be. But just so you have an idea of what I'm working with, whatever, I stand tall at 5'3". Today I weigh 166, but my weight yo-yos. It's not my fault though, we move. And this time I have measuring tape for the body. My waist is 31. My hips are 44, 45, and as for my bust, I don't know. Just know that they don't sit on my neck, okay? Your girl needs support. Now my try-on hauls can be mega. So please let me know if you prefer short Tron hauls where I try on like five to 10 items or long Tron hauls where you know you get the whole cart of what I bought. <laughs> With that being said, because I can run my mouth though, I will see you after the Bible verse. Yes, I give God thanks for every single upload. Then Jesus said, come to me all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens and I will give you rest. Matthew eleven twenty eight. Are we ready to see these clothes? Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the item in the thumbnail. The multi-renaissance print, satin ruffle detail bodycon dress. Ah, all those words. Straight out the package, it feels very cheap. Ah, it was 55 doulas. This is something I would literally scroll by, but I saw it on Instagram. I got this in a size 10. Just to be safe, it does not have stretch. I guess I can just try it on and you guys can see for yourself. <laughs> not bad. It's really loose. I could have got it in a size eight. It's just that you guys scared me in my last video. You're not a medium, you're not a size eight. So I got it in a size 10 now, don't you see? Don't you see what you have cost? <laughs> ah, can you sit? I would like it to be more fitted. Otherwise, like, it's gorgeous. Like, I, I like it, I think it's different. I like dressing different so that when I enter the room, man, they know who they're talking to. I like it. This is the material up close. Ooh, wow. And then it has a zipper in the back. I like that. Next is the white long sleeve tassel hem drape detail body contrast. Anyways, the quality is really nice. I got this in a size 10 because I was playing it safe, but this is how it looks on the model. And this is how it looks on your girl. Ooh, yes, I like it. It's definitely giving me mama I think I'll pin it just to like not you know, be all out there. I don't think it will look nice if you tie it. It does give you more of a hip, oh yeah, that looks stupid. That looks stupid. What you ordered is what you got. The quality is very nice. I also got it in orange, I thought it would be so cute. Online, it wasn't this vibrant. Like guys, this color is very loud. On. I think I like both of them. It looks so much better in orange. Oh my gosh. Oh, see dress. See dress. 10 out of 10. Get into it. Period. This dress says current girlfriend. <laughs> Who's in the past? Nobody. Who's in the future? It's me. Your wife. I don't want to change, but I have to. <laughs> so this one is the camo belted oversized sleeve blazer. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try it on to know what I think about it. I got it with these biker shorts because I thought it would match. It said camel camel and on the picture, I don't know, maybe I'm colorblind. It's not the same thing. Maybe the material made it look different, but I'm gonna try it on together to achieve the same look that was in the picture, but I don't think it's gonna be that look. <laughs> this is very much giving me Noah's Ark, 10 Commandments. Maybe I'm not, maybe I'm, anyway, bra won't kill you. If you see my bra, big. 
As far as the biker shorts are concerned, I really like them. Like, it's not the same color, but it won't, like I'm not bothered over that. Maybe like a cute, I don't even know, what season is this? Winter, summer, fall? My hair is what's making it better for me. Not the actual fit, like. Okay, hold up. Okay, you know what? I think I must've did something. It's cute. Comment down below and let me know what you think. That's how I resolve that one. Next, there's the new chiffon pleated flounced hem blouse. It comes in one size, which made me a little worried because what kind of shirt comes in one size? But this is how it looks on the model and this is how it looks on me. One thing I can say is based off of looking at the picture and the model, this is not what I was expecting. I like how appropriate it is. It's very mature. I understand how it's one size fit all. It has this, um, stretchy waist so if you're bigger than me it stretches if you're smaller i feel like you're gonna get more of a peplum look that it shows in the photo but i would not wear it like this like i would want that part at my waist but the fabric the fabric is only so tall so i don't think it was smart that they made this one size i wish they made it in sizes so it can you know complement whoever wears it this is what the back looks like I ordered pants to match. It was a stone kick flare. What kind of stupid name is this? Stone kick flare split detail pants. So I got it in a size 10. I should have got it in a size 12. This is how it looks on the model. And <laughs> this is how it looks on me. I like the pants. I think they look really nice. It is pretty long, but if you're taller than 5'7", I would say go a size up just so it can be a little longer. The nude definitely has me looking like a little stallion. I would not wear this together, but I like it. Anyway, I got a whole bunch of tops, so let's just run through those. I'm gonna keep these snake print pants on. They will not match the tops, obviously, but I don't wanna be naked on YouTube also. First is this blush top. I got it in a size eight. <laughs> For some reason, I thought it would come a little darker than this. This is like white that was washed with a red sock and now it has this awkward, you know, pinky color. I'm gonna go ahead and try it on. Ooh, I definitely like the fit. I wanted it to be darker than this, but I can work with this. It's a lot of chest going on, but I got it covered. And it has these ruched details. And then I saw this really cute floral um, peplum skirt on their website. It looks see-through in the picture, but I was like, I don't want to believe it, but it's see-through. I'm gonna try it on with the nude biker shorts underneath so you guys don't see my business, okay? And it came with a matching top, but the top was sold out. I really wanted the top too because, you know, it's cuter as a set. It will give me a reason to wear it, but I think it's cute. Let me show you guys the bottom real quick. Very cute. And you can't even tell I have on the nude shorts underneath. Not to come for the model, but I think it looks better on me. Come on. You did. Yes, ma'am. Please put me on a resort. Please put me on a resort. Once the top gets back into stock, I'm definitely gonna buy the top because this is too cute. This is too cute. So I don't know what was going through my mind with this next top. As you can see it on the model, it looks splendid on her. The way I'm set up, I don't, uh, it was a mistake. I was trying to be on my city girl, but I'm not a city girl. Like, there's no way, like I'm, I'm giving it, I'm gonna give it a true shot. As a swimsuit, I can see it happening. Like, I would not wear this out. It covers up the back. The model's definitely not set up like this. It doesn't even pass my bra, so. Next is this white satin square neck top. I already know it's a nice top, but I'll try it on anyway. So this is how it looks on the model, and this is what it looks like on me. Yes, I knew this was gonna be cute. This is my second time buying this shirt because I messed it up. Last time I got it in size 10 for sure because it was way looser than this and I had to like be clipping it and stuff, which is why the zipper broke. But this time I got it in a size eight and it fits perfectly. The quality is so smooth and the corset is well made. So I got this blue skirt. It's a two piece set actually, but I didn't want the top. I ordered the set in pink and I did not like the top, but yeah. Here we go. 
looks really nice as I expected. And then I just decided to go on a skirt tour because even though we're locked in the house, this clothes will be useful next year's spring. So as you can see in the picture, it looks more blue, whereas in person, it looks more gray. You know, it really wasn't what I was expecting, but I'll just try it on anyway. I'm not even into all this angel, 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 like, ah, why am I walking around with naked babies on my skirt? I can't see myself actually wearing this somewhere off of Instagram. It might just end up coming useful one day. I'll keep it. And then I really OD'd on Renaissance. I saw this top online and I already regret buying it. I haven't even tried it on yet, but it was giving me cute model vibes on the model, but I'm not a model. I don't like um, shirts that don't have a neckline because I'm already short. I don't think it's flattering on me. I'm gonna just try it out. I'm not gonna talk too much. I already know I'm not gonna like it. I'm just warning you. I don't know what I was expecting, but this came in the mail. <laughs> Is it every time? It looks better than I thought it would on me. I feel like the skirt is helping it look like a dress, so let me put on a different bottom so you can really see the top. I don't even think I'll wear it with a blue skirt realistically. I just put on the blue skirt so you can see the difference. When it's time for me to go out somewhere, this is not my go-to shirt. Like, oh, let me put on my Renaissance shirt every time. Mm -mm. After I wear it one time, I'm done with it. One and done. Okay, so next is this black slinky long sleeve top. It was $25 and I got it in a size 10. I just like the way that it has those, you know, ties on it. So with that being said, here's it on the model. And then here's it on me. This is a keeper. Yes, this is giving me fine B. Okay, I'm sucking in. <laughs> I'm trying to put on for the world. I'm trying to give them shape honey and the material feels so good this is one thing i like about pretty little things their material babe will feel so good like think of all the ways you can dress up this top jeans a black skirt a patterned bottom patterned pants leather pants which i just ordered from boohoo i'm not gonna play i like them next i have the chicago oversized shirt and i got it in a size large Come on. <laughs> yeah, this graphic tee is cute. I'm going to the store. I'm going to my boyfriend's house. Quick run to get groceries, looking flawless. I love this top. Next is this Renaissance print dress. I got it in a size 10. It actually looks more colorful on camera, I swear. It's not that colorful in person. You just have to take my word for it, please. It's not. But anyway, this is how it looks on the model. She cute or whatever, but this is how it looks on me. Just what I thought. The fit is not comfortable. Is this a blouse? Please tell me, is this a blouse? Like, literally, no bending down, no sitting. Butt cheeks will be straight on the seat. Like, it's, it's too short. Like, if you pull it down, then this starts happening, and I don't want that. There's like a underneath material behind this film, and it just doesn't have, like, unless you Stand like that, that's where it has, you know, allowance, but standing straight is just like a really awkward fit. This is a 10, I would get it in a size 12. US size 12, for me. Yeah, sorry, my wig was deep. So next there's this blue dress. Anytime I see a rooch, I know it stretches. So I got a size eight, and um, this is how it looks on me. Oh, come on, girl. Come on, is that me? Is this me? Uh-uh. This dress shapes. Please, if you want your shape to carry load, order this dress. By this time, there's a picture on Instagram. I have to wait. I have to wait. I have to wear it. Oh my God. Look at the twins, just twinning. Ay. <laughs> I just love baby blue on me. It might be my favorite thing in the whole hall. I love it. How many items I got? How many items I got left? One, two, three, four items left. Okay, we're almost done. Woo! This is the Rose Rouged Cup Hook and Eye. What is all this? I haven't said cheap too much in this video, so Pretty Little Thing has great quality. I have to say that. It looks so cute on the model. I definitely wear shirts like this with a strapless bra, so let's see how it looks on me. Oh, she's cute. I like the sleeves. I love me a good statement top. It's, it's just a little loose. Just a little loose. It's just a little loose. 
It has a stretchy material that's supposed to help, but it's really not doing anything. Like, it's really not. <laughs> the top is falling off my body. And I can fit my hand in it. I feel like a top like this should be like, not unbreathable, but come on guys, like. I got it in a size eight. I would definitely size down. It is a little too big. Cool. I never wear this kind of top, so I'm trying to be bold. I'm trying to be fashionable this year. I'm trying to step into a new, new honey. It's slinky and stretchy, so I got a size eight. This is what it looks like on the model, so nice. And this is what it looks like on me. Oh, this is so cute. I love it, guys. I have to be honest, like I used to be so insecure about wearing these kind of tops because my boobs don't aren't like the models to where their bust is just like sitting. You know, I need support. And I just recently discovered that strapless bras are not the devil. They used to hurt my back so much and I got tired of having the bra strap hiding here because you would always see it right there. This part is a little awkward though, but I noticed on the model it is a little not on her shoulder completely, which is whatever. But I love this top. So cute, oh, it's so cute. This is how the back looks. I am having like a back roll moment, but I don't mind it. Woo, I made it. <laughs> My back oh. I hope you guys like short hauls because these long hauls are crazy. But if you like short hauls, it'll be easy for me at you. Just let me know down below. All that's really left is two shoes and an accessory. I never really buy accessories, but this was so cute. I'm already seeing the glue. That right there, it's broken. And then another piece is broken there too. Come on, pretty little thing. I'm not even a headband type of girl, but I definitely think it's really cute. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. So I got the black clear strap heels, $58. I got it for 29, for sure. I do think they're very cute. So if you can get them on sale, I do recommend them. They're very comfortable. They're very cute, as you can see. And woohoo, guys, the last product are these gold Block heel strappy mule sandals. Um, it was $48. I do think 50 something dollars, 40 something dollars is overpriced. So these sales just end up making you pay what you really should. But I mean, I got it for $25, so I'm not mad. They look the same in person. And guys, sorry about my toes. I'm not going to the nail shop for you already know why. My toes are looking kind of uh. But um, they're comfortable except for like on the pinky. I can definitely feel that strap it would hurt over time. But maybe if I break the shoes and it will feel better, but yeah. So yes, my friends, that ends this trial haul. I truly liked everything like for the first time. So thumbs up to Pretty Little Things. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so I can continue to do these. I have more hauls coming. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be the first to watch my next video and my next channel. I hope you guys are staying safe. I'm wishing the best for all of you just as you wish the best for me. And thank you for watching this video. I will see you in my next one. Bye.